No one gets inside. Strict orders. If you have a problem with that, see Jeff. He's around the corner. What was he thinking? Is it people who have you got nerve rolling in here uninvited? Don't mean to intrude. We don't need strays poking around right now. We have enough problems to deal with. I prefer to think of myself as a free agent. Open to all opportunities. You know what? Yeah, you might prove useful. My brother is in some deep shit. Pack of reclaimed scum snatched him. Anthony's a good kid. Bit dim, but he doesn't deserve whatever those freaks have in store. We can't get anywhere near where they're holed up. Light blue house across the way. They'll gut him immediately if they see us coming. But you? They don't know you. You'll be able to stroll right in. After that, whatever you need to do, that's your business. Personally, I'd put a few bullets through their skulls. Let the dirt reclaim them. I'd like to know what I'm up against ahead of time. What are their numbers exactly? We've seen as many as four on the second floor. But you never know. They multiply like rats. Sounds like I can be of service. Get to it then. Knowing how those savages operate? Anthony, how could he be so dense? He should have known better. Are you the negotiator? A big tough Jeff, too chicken shit to show his face and beg for his little brother's life. Not sure I really see the point. I guess I'm here to negotiate a deal for Anthony's release. Release? That's some kind of joke. That motherfucker isn't going anywhere but in the dirt where maggots belong. What did he do? This subhuman shit is a murderer. My daughter is dead. All right, I'm ready now. I see you're ready now. This and he is at fault. The tower preaches community, and yet they toss out those most in need because they are no longer useful, because they are a burden. Violet was not a burden. She was a human being, but this fucker treated her like trash. He could have disobeyed orders, but he did not. He forced her out, left her to die. She was 11 years old. Where is your head at, stranger? Exterminate this tower fuck right now, and we won't have a problem. Then we can pay the rest of the vermin a visit. And once they are a pile of corpses, whatever is in their camp, it's yours. Consider it a gift from the reclaimed. It's difficult, but sometimes we have to choose justice. I'll take care of him. I am sorry. 
please. What's with the hesitation? Quit thinking. I followed and do orders. The deal. That's all I'm guilty of. Please, it wasn't my decision. If I didn't do it, someone else would have. There was no preventing her exile. What's the holdup? I tried to make things right. I tried. What I did was... What's the holdup? That weapon stays... I admit it, but... Please. You don't have to do this. What was that? Hey, big brother. There's not much to say beyond I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm a wreck, Jeff. I keep seeing that little girl's face. These visions of her turning. This whole mess is fucking with my head. What did the Martins do to deserve being exiled? It makes no sense. They are good people. Scanning the area. I know this might put you in a tough spot, please. Forgive me, but I need to make things right. At least give them a slim chance to survive out there. 
I swiped some supplies from our camp, so you know who to blame. Don't want any other innocent people taking heat. I'm going out to find the Martins and deliver the stuff. Least I can do. I pray it'll help me get my head straight. If I'm not back before the bells, wish me luck. Your little bro, Anthony. Now is not the time to be selfish. Now is the time to commit to a community, to be part of something. Our vision for the future is rooted in hope. It ensures a future for humanity. Cast despair aside. There is no point in clinging to it. Do not commit to isolation. Dedicate yourself to a grander purpose. And you will not be alone. Trust in us to guide you. And we will put our trust in you. Within our walls, you will be safe. Within our walls, your needs will be met. Within our walls, life goes on. The tower will always stand. Mama.
You there, Casey? Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? You're surprised? You didn't think I was gonna come through, did you? Well, guess what? I did. I didn't know. It's insane out there. All kinds of shit could have gone wrong. But, hey, this is great. Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing, and we can get it calibrated. You're stalling, Casey. I want to hear what you got on the reserve. Not doing anything until you hold up your end. We clear? Yeah, yes. All clear. Okay. The reserve is real. But you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking and things really went to shit, I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It, it malfunctioned, and now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I I'm running out of time. Got something on my mind. Okay. I'll be here. I'm back. All right, let's get back to it. I need a second. Take care of your business. I'll wait. Um, all right, go on. Where were we? Oh, yeah. The reserve is real, but you already knew that. Well, you don't build in the fifth. Now... I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. You know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah. Yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. You were the only one to make it inside? Well, no. There were others, but they didn't stay. Um, they had to leave. Who were the others? National Guard, like me. Look, none of this matters right now, so... That's all I have to say. Rumors are all over the place. What exactly is inside the reserve? Most of the rumors are true. Food, meds, tons of it. I mean, the entire hall was meant to help tens of thousands of people in the area after the flood. And there's a bunch of guns, ammo, and gear for the troops that were meant to distribute it. All military grade, perfect condition. Problem is, I can't get to any of it. The whole bunker is locked down because of the floodwaters. What's the rush to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is gonna matter if the floodwater sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed or drowned. Pick your poison, right? If you get crushed, at least it would be quick. Right? Yeah. Well, well, with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. At least I'd have a fighting chance. Look, tourist, I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, uh, uh, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. Not to mention, enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. And for me? A fresh start and some fresh fucking air. You paint a pretty picture, but it sounds too good to be true. Hey, I get it. I could totally be full of shit. But one thing I know, no one else can offer you what I can. Without me, the reserve is gonna remain buried. Forever. If you want the reserve, you're gonna have to work with me. It's a chance you have to take. <sighs> oh. I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. Well, it it's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm gonna turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. 
Good night, tourist. Are you there? Yeah. Glad to hear your voice. Ready to get started? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, good. So, I found the manual for the pump flow regulator. It looks like we need to calibrate it before it can be installed. Each of the pumps has different flow requirements, and that component tells the rest of the system where to route the water. We should be able to figure this out. I like that attitude. Okay. On the device, you should see a serial number. Read it to me. 473-0589-01. Okay, uh, now turn the dial until you get some feedback on valve A. Uh, then tell me the number you see. Feedback triggered on 55. The numbers turn green. Okay, good. 55. Uh, According to the manual, valve B should be tuned to 28 degrees. Valve B to 28. Got it. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. Valve C set. All numbers green. Awesome. Okay, uh, almost there. Now it says, depress the automatic confirmation mechanism. Uh, looking at the diagram here, it's a big round button. Should be obvious. All right. Big round button pressed. Yes! Okay, we're calibrated. Now you need to install this sucker into the pump. Uh, the pump, it's, uh, it's located outside of St. Vincent's Church. Beacon lights will be on to help find it, so that's good. Of course, uh, it'll probably attract walkers, so that sucks. Just be ready. The systems down here will... Let me know when you've installed the regulator. Oh, and uh, one more thing. A little tip that should make life a bit easier, scavenging more fruitful since, you know, we're colleagues now. <laughs> right? The tower has a radio station, number 47, that broadcasts any significant discoveries in the city and the current schedule for stirring the herd. Might be wise to tune in before heading out for the day. Privileged intel, so, you know, let's, uh, let's keep it between us. All right, gonna take a few moments to clear my head. I'll contact you when it's time for the next step. Good luck, and thanks. Med supply located. The ward. Valuable scavenge prospects high. Memorial Lane. 